All right, God bless you wherever you're watching me from. This is your humble servant, Akra Kojo Nyansafo. Um, you live on 2AJ TV. Uh, today I am located somewhere far in the western part of Ghana. And this thing that you're seeing here, I would want to share some few, I mean, uh, story about it with you. Uh, to those of you who haven't been in the hinterlands or in the villages or in our cocoa processing uh, areas, in fact, this is what we call cocoa. Cocoa, as you all know, is very, very important when it comes to uh, crop processing in Ghana here. This seed, as you see here, is the cocoa seed. And then, mostly, they are the farmers, or it is the farmers that produces this type of crop. And it is for both domestic and external use. Um, cocoa, as you all know, things that are derived out of it. Some of them are uh, the uh, milo that we normally use, uh, chocolate, uh, a whole lot. There were a whole lot of product or end product that we do get out of cocoa. And then in Ghana, in Ghana here, um, most of these kind of uh, crops uh, are produced from the hinterlands, I mean the villages. So right here in uh, Sefi Awaso, Sefi Awaso, I saw this and decided to share with you. Now, when you go to the farm and bring this thing out to the, I mean, to the house, there are a lot of work that you may need to do on it. In fact, this is the first or the second stage of it. After it has taken some few time in the farm, you, you bring it home and then you pour them on. This is like, uh, I mean, a palm front mat woven together with uh, a nylon rope and it is on this that you may leave the cocoa seeds to dry at least for one week one to two weeks and then you could see that there are other things among or mixed with the cocoa seed that are not important some of which is what i'm removing i'm taking out so you would have to stay and then uh, take them all out because you can't sell the cocoa with those kind of i mean unwanted materials in them so uh, uh working on cocoa as we know or as we have just heard isn't uh, that an easy task you would have to do a whole lot of work on it removing all those unwanted things and then moving your hands in it like this each day or all the time and this is what you have to be doing to enable the cocoa to dry and dry well and like i told you after the one week the next stage is to get a cocoa sack then you gather the whole thing the remaining refined seeds into them and then you take it to those that used to buy cocoa honestly uh, cocoa is very 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 good and very very essential crop but then working on it isn't easy so we all need to applaud our fathers, I mean our farmers, uh, those that are in the hinterlands that produces cocoa. So whoever or wherever you are out there, if you've ever enjoyed anything made out of, I mean cocoa, then indeed you need to applaud our great uh, farmers. Thank you so much for, I mean, watching this piece with me. I am Akrafujo Nyansa for 2AJ TV.